Well, that's it. I'm afraid Bob and Neil, but you know, it was great having you. Did you enjoy yourselves, fellas? Oh, I did indeed. Yes, fantastic. Great. Great. It was fantastic. Thanks for coming on, guys. Let's hear it for Neil and Bob there. OK, Paul and Karen are through to the final. In a couple of minutes, one of them will be going on a trip that they've been dreaming about. Now, remember, they can go anywhere they want. It's totally up to them. It could be Fiji, France or Fulham. It's their choice. But first, guys, take a breather, because right now, it could be time for you at home to hold your breath. It's Lotto and Lotto Extra. Exactly seven minutes past eight, Saturday the 25th of October, and live from the BBC Television Centre, it's this weekend's Lotto Draw. The man in charge, the boss, the governor, the man you just don't mess with, really, Ian Wright. OK, Gigi, just, just tell us all what we want to hear. How much? OK, what you want to hear is the estimated prize fund is £16.6 .6 million, pounds, which would make the jackpot an estimated £5.2 million. Pounds. Yes, my friends, it's time for you at home to grab your seats, because... You could be about to change your life. So, if you're ready, let's release the ball. Earlier's Charles Barber from Mitchum chose at random tonight's draw equipment for us. We're using Amethyst, one of half a dozen brand new draw machines for the Lotto and Lotto Extra. And with it, settles number one in. OK, guys, here comes tonight's winning numbers. Good luck. Four jackpot winning tickets on Wednesday, sharing 2.9 million pounds. Back to tonight and these brand new machines. Look at that, 43 is the first one. Last with us, Tuttle Saturday night, 128 Lotto Arty. And here is the next one. That pops number 10. 10 day show displaying the maritime traditions of Banff in Aberdeen. Show was made possible with lottery cash. Next is number 18. Produced with yours and 8 to 18 year olds in Luton who can now enjoy the cut and thrust of hurling. All thanks to an awards for all grant. Mr. Schofield was lucky in the end, wasn't he? 21 is the next one. Bonus a matter of four Wednesdays back, 107th lotto outing now. We've been waiting for that information about hurling. Next is number 49, the top banana. We last saw it Tuttle Wednesday night, 109th time. We've seen that now. And here is the sixth one. Out box, number four. Next to 400,000 pounds of good causes cash. An old-fashioned sawmill is back in action in Exmoor National Park. The bonus tonight, should you need it, 15. Let's take a look then at this weekend's winning lotto numbers. In ascending order, number four, number 10, number 18, number 21, then 43 and 49. The bonus this weekend is 50. Ian. Well, if your lot of numbers didn't come up, don't worry, because if you've got a lot of extra ticket, this could be still a great night for you. Here's a lot of extra. <laughs> Time to release this Saturday's extra ball. <laughs> we had no winners on Wednesday, so what can we win tonight, Jeej? Tonight, the jackpot total for Lotto Extra is a very, very healthy £5.1 million. £5.1 million. Here come those six winning balls. Good luck. Let's start the draw then, using Opal and set of extra balls number five, again chosen by Charles Barber. First out is 37. With no winner tonight, it just means there'll be an even bigger jackpot of Wednesday when we're with you just before 9 o'clock. Here's the next number. Now pops number 10. It's going to be a must-match with all six numbers to have a stake in tonight's 5.1 million pound jackpot. Here's the third number. Out pops number 6. Bear in mind this game, the jackpot can go as high as 50 million pounds. Next is number 4. If you want to hear about all three of tonight's draws, who won what? There is an update at 10.25 right here on BBC One. The fifth number tonight, 34. So, we got these first five numbers. You do need this one as well. And it is number seven. Let's take a look at tonight's Lotto Extra numbers in ascending order. Number four, number six, number seven, number 10, number 34, and number 37. Ian. Thanks, Alan. So, we've got our two finalists. One of them will be heading off on a trip that they can make their very own ultimate fantasy. So, Paul, yeah. if you win, mate, where, where are you going to go? Where do you think? Um, I'd love to go to Hong Kong, mm -hmm. especially Australia, mm -hmm. New Zealand, South Africa, Brazil and Mexico. Just a couple then, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why Australia in particular? What's, what's... I met some few friends a few years ago. Um, I haven't seen them for absolutely ages. Yeah. And, being on this is a real chance it's for me a real to get chance out there. To see them. So it's a massive thing for you, yeah. really, isn't it? Yeah, it's well, huge. It's well. huge. And Karen, what about you? Oh, my absolute dream would be to go to South Africa. Is that right? 
I absolutely love animals. I'm an animal fanatic, especially cats. Is that right? Well, there's a load there. I love cats. I've, I've even got a cat tattoo. Have you? So I want to see big cats. In the flesh. In, in the wild, yeah. Well, they're both fantastic trips. The pressure's on, but good luck to the both of you, okay? It's time to play for that dream trip right around the world. Okay, Paul and Karen, you start with two globes each. Get a question right, you win a globe from your opponent. Whoever's got the most globes after 90 seconds will win. It's as simple as that. And let me tell you, all the answers have to be names of places. Okay, okay guys? Good luck. All the very best of luck to you, okay? Let's start the clock. Bill Clinton's daughter shares her name with which part? Paul. Chelsea. Correct. You get a globe. Where does the merchant live according to the type? Paul. Venice. Venice is correct. Which Womble is named after river in South America? Paul. Rio. It's wrong. It's Orinoco. You're frozen out. This one's just for you, Karen. Which British university competes against Oxford in the annual university boat race on Cambridge. the river? Cambridge. Cambridge is correct. You're both back in. The pudding made from ice cream covered in meringue is called baked what? Paul? Alaska. Is correct. Which continent surrounds the South Pole? Paul. Antarctica. Correct. Just in time. In Alice in Wonderland, which cat disappears until only its grin is left? Karen. Cheshire. Correct. You get a globe. Which part of Los Angeles has a zip code 90210? Paul. Beverly Hills. Correct. The Pied Piper got rid of the rats from... Paul. Hamlin. Hamlin's correct. Which Welsh city is home to the Millennium Stadium? Paul. Cardiff. Correct, Paul. The Taj Mahal is a famous building in which country? Karen. India. Correct, Karen. Well done. Which European capital city is situated on the River Liffey? Karen. Dublin. Your level. Correct. What type of hat did the comedian Tommy Cooper usually wear? Paul. Fez. Correct. Just in time. Which US city is nicknamed the Big Apple? Paul. New York. Correct. In 1588, which European country sent a huge fleet? <laughs> Paul, congratulations, Karen. Unlucky, you did fantastically. Unlucky, but Paul. You are on your way around the world. Come here, brother. You are going to Hong Kong. You're going to see your friends in Australia. You're going to New Zealand, South Africa, Brazil. And you are going to Mexico. Get in there. Huh? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes, superb. Oh, man, you did so <laughs> well, man. You told us where you wanted to go. Oh. Is it? You are going to all those places. You have a fantastic time. <laughs> That's it for this week. Oh. Paul started off the show, walking up the ice street. <laughs> now he's flying around the world to see his mates in Australia. <laughs> Next Saturday, there'll be more Lotto Draws. We've got Westlife on the show. And more people are be doing their dream trip right around the world like Paul. So start planning your trip, <laughs> because wherever you are, I could be coming to get you. Good night. Take care. Nikki and Jim at Breaking Point next on BBC One in Casualty.